Hello again, fans of primarily Magic the Gathering. I'm Jeff of the Game Capital, thegamecapital.com, your source for Magic the Gathering and other trading card games, primarily singles. And today, we're going to dingle one last spicy, shiny carrot here for you. Box number six on the channel of Modern Horizons, all for the same booster case. And spoiler alert, we have not yet pulled a foil mythic. I, I don't know if you're guaranteed a foil mythic in each case or not. I've opened cases of other sets, namely Ixalan, I think, before that did not get any foil mythics. Can't remember about Battlebond. Battlebond was weird, though. I opened a case of that, and, like, I kept the first three boxes all the same mythics. Just one or two had, like, one extra mythic in it. Uh, but in that case, there was, like, three mythics I got none of. One that I had, like, five of, and it was just all kinds of wonky. But um, so far in this case, so again, spoiler alert, we've only gotten one Urza. Only one Sliver. I think only one Ren and Six. We've gotten a lot of Hogach. Um, I think only one Echo of Eons, too, actually. Force of the Gish, we've gotten a good amount of. Fiery Islet. All, all the Campy Lands we've done well with. Um, the last box, Box 5, we had only two Campy Lands. We've had three Campy Lands in every box besides that so far. Um, the best foil so far in this case has been a foil Hogach. I like to say Hogach. I don't know what's right, but, you know... Ranger, Captain of Eons, Mythic, and a Swamp, and yeah. All right, so we're, we're hoping there's a Foil Mythic in this box. We're hoping it's a good one, uh, but time will tell. Time will tell. So strap in tight. Hopefully you have some popcorn or something, and uh, hopefully we can find something nice here. Good start, though. A Mythic and a Nurturing Peatland in the first two packs. So this box are off nice. A Foil Elephant. Foil Elephant. Uh, when I was a young child, I always called elephants poops because one of the first times I was at the zoo, I was looking at the elephants and they had their back to me and they just dropped a massive deuce and then I called them poops because what did I know? I was a child. They, they pooped in my face. They were poop. Scale up. On the rise. On the rise. That's called box as well. Uh, again, full disclosure, um, box two through six of this case, of these boxes of the channel, all the same case, all for the same day, open June 10th. Uh, the first box one was June 5th, so if you're listening to prices I may reference and stuff in the video, they're effective as of those dates. First box of the case, prices are as of June 5th. Boxes 2 through 6, this one included, are prices effective as of June 10th. Um, this box, as of about 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, give or take. This is when I last looked, skimmed some prices. Uh, main things I saw, the Hogak was coming down a little bit. Um... The Hogak spiked from like 12 on Saturday up to 28 earlier today. And now it's back to like 23. Still a very strong move up. It's trying to find its happy price now. Uh, time will tell what that ends up being. Chiller Pillar Foil. I don't know if it's worth anything, but it should be. Because that's just a fun name. Just a fun name. We had that alligator type one. That didn't prove to be worth much. Maybe 60 cents or something, but... It happens, it happens. Force of a Virtue and a Swamp and Aladdin. What was I saying? I don't even know. Oh yeah, prices as of June 10th. So yeah, Hogak was coming back down a little bit after a big move up. Um, Force negation has gone from 21 on last Wednesday to 31 as of today, the five-day move. And there's the Chiller Pillar again. <clears throat> Ayula, Queen of Bears. Yeah, I think it's called Bucks. Sky of a Thousand Cuts. I think that's what that was called. I was right about Thousand. I thought it was going to be like Sky of something, but it's a wall. It's a 3-5 wall. You can pay one to have it not have Defender for the turn or something like that. But it's like a 4 drop? 4 or 5 drop. So, yeah. It's a common. What do you expect? Talisman, Waterlog Grove. Alright, we already got two Campy lands in this box. Maybe we can get four in this box and finish with an average of three. Maybe we can get all five. On one of our boxes of, I think it was Ravnica Allegiance, I think, we got all five of the lands in one box. So, it can happen. It can happen. I assume it can happen in this set, too. And you can probably get zero, but that's going to be kind of hard to do. Because there's 53 rares in the set. So, better than one out of 11 are going to be... A canopy land. Well, one of 11 rares. And you get about 31 and a half rares per box. So, yeah, you should average just underneath three canopy lands per box. 
on occasion, you should pull a foil canopy land as well. So, including foils, it's probably almost exactly at three canopy lands per box on average. Um, we have pulled at least one foil canopy land, but not from this case. That was for a different case that staff opened up at our store. So, there's our second mythic, Morophon the Boundless. It's one of the mythics we pulled the most of so far, I think. And common foil cleaning sliver. I feel like too often we're pulling a foil with a mythic in the same pack. I feel like I should spread those out, you know, so you have more packs of something to cheer you up where it's like, oh, that rare is terrible, but hey, I got a foil. It's not good, but hey, it's a foil. You know, but oh well. End lane, not one you want to get. See, that's a pack I would like to get a foil with. That's not just a foil token, but eh, whatever. I'm pulling from that side. Finish this side first, Jeffrey. Dude, what? what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, Urza. There's actually no foil Urzas as this recording listed on TCG Player right now. None listed. Collected at Conjuring. Hall of Heliod's Generosity. That should be a decent rare foil pull. The non-foil is over five bucks, so I don't know what kind of premium that one has on it. I'm not going to check this time because last time I messed up, I hit the wrong... Like, there's the three horizontal lines on my phone to, like, go to, like, my tabs, or if you want to say. And that's right next to the pause button that's got two vertical lines. And I accidentally clicked the three horizontal lines, so the two little vertical lines. So I made, went to the tab screen, and that automatically stops the video. And then I couldn't just upload the raw file like I normally do. And it's just, yeah. Archmage's Charm, that's, like, five bucks. Golem. So that's our second foil of Golem in the last two boxes now. Did not pull before that, so... That's what I want to do before this video is see if I could find the tokens online and see what, if any were selling for anything, but... Oh, well. Goblin Engineer, that's a few bucks as well. And there's there's solid value in this set. There's solid value in this set. Like, yes, there are still some 20 cent rares, but there's a lot of stuff over 10 bucks. There's a lot of stuff that's like 5 to 10. There's a good amount that's like 2 to 5. So, there's, there's good range of stuff at... Wide range of values. Ultra Dementia, about nine, eight, nine bucks. That one has gone up over the weekend as well. It was like four or five, I think, but now it's seven to nine. It was nine over today. I think it's selling back closer to seven and a half or so now, but uh, also right now, today, um, there's 8% kickback on TC Player, so that affects some things as well. Future Sight Rare, Settle Beyond Reality, Common Foil. So that helps some stuff to move up, and now they're trying to figure out their happy price and i'm sure once the main release happens other stuff will drop as well but as of right now june 10th when i'm recording this things are looking pretty good that sliver a few bucks as well foil spider is, is a spider and it's foil i mean what's not to love what's not to love but overall i i feel like the overall public sentiment for this set has been not great but again as of right now ooh I, I, I probably saw excited and disappointed there at the same time because it's a second foil rare of this box. But we don't have any foil mythics in the case. So I was excited, like, oh, another foil rare. But uh, I don't think it's a good foil rare. And that might make it so we don't get a foil mythic, quite possibly. So, yeah. If we do, that could make for a very interesting box. If we get two foil rares and a foil mythic all from a single box... They're pretty hot. I mean, we only have two Mythics in this box so far overall. So, I mean, we might as well get a foil one, right? I hope we get a foil one. It's going to feel really weird to get a foil one after getting two foil rares in the same box, but I'm not going to complain. I'll complain if I don't get a foil Mythic. Like, if that second foil rare is, like, a Fiery Islet or a Force of Negation or something like that, I, I could turn the other cheek a little bit and be like, okay, okay, it's not a Mythic, but hey. Is better than some mythics could have been or would have been, so I'll take it. Urza. Hopefully get a regular Urza in this box anyway. I think we're still at the two campy lands, still at just two mythics. So we gotta have a lot more value still to come in this box. Miss or merit not missed. Renin six, I don't mind finding that one either. Like I said, the top three mythics, look like I got one of each so far in the first five and a half plus boxes. So hopefully we can find at least one. Between Urza, First Sliver, and Renin Six. Hopefully, we get at least one of those in the rest of this box. Hopefully. Giver of Ruins, like five bucks. It's like five bucks. Elemental Foil. That's like 
Negative five cents, probably. I don't know. The Foil Elemental and Foil Goblin, they're every box, I feel like. I don't just feel like it. I'm pretty sure it actually has been every box, honestly. Echo of Eons. All right, there's another Mythic. Let's do the second or third of those we've pulled. We haven't gotten a ton. Haven't gotten a ton. But we've gotten two or three of Eons. We've gotten possibly four of that um, Morophon. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Mist Syndicate Naga. Azra Smoke Shaper. How many total foils is that so far in this box? How many total foils? Not including tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six. No uncommons. Two rares, four commons. This is interesting. This is interesting. I hope one of these is like at least 20 bucks, especially if we don't get a foil mythic. Woo! Come on. I just want a foil mythic. I guess they're not guaranteed one per case. But I thought they were supposed to be. All right, there's our third. Our third Cappy Land of the box. Possibly our second Foil Goblin of the box. Because, like I said, those Foil Goblins, they are not hard to pull. They are not hard to pull at all. At all. <clears throat> Fallen Shinobi. I didn't realize before that they're not just Fallen. They're, they're long past dead. Yikes. Yikes. All right, seven packs to go. Give me something exciting here. Give me something exciting here. Yeah. Cable Therapist, maybe five bucks. Squirrel Nest. Foil Squirrel Nest. So we got our uncommon foil. Can we get our mythic foil, please? Six more packs. I don't think we're going to do it. At this point, I'm going to be surprised if we do get a Foil Mythic, just since we did get the two rares in this box. And I feel like getting three rare or better foils in a box isn't happening. But hey, I'll take another Force of Negation. That's going to be at least the fourth in the case. We've gotten that in most of the boxes. At least four in the case. I'm happy about that. Definitely happy about that. I would love to get my second Urza. I would love it more if it's a foil. <laughs> Ren and Six. All right, I'll take that too. I'll take that too. Ren and six. I think that's only a second one of those in the case. It's about 28 bucks. We've only gotten one Urza, one first sliver, and I've gotten two Ren and six. Those are three highest priced mythics of the set. So that's four mythics in the box. We've gotten three Campy Lands. Uh, I'm still hoping, hopefully in these last four packs, we at least get one of the following, at least one of the following. Either an Urza or a first sliver, non-foil. Any mythic as a foil. Or a fourth canopy land. I also accept Prismatic Vista as like the fourth one. Because it's still a land. And it's more expensive than any of the canopy lands as of the time of this recording. So, can we take any of those? There we, there we go. There's our fourth one. Sunbaked Canyon. That is our fourth one. Alright. So, I will try to complain with whatever does or doesn't happen in these last three packs then. So, he's got that like... Extra value there in the back end. So. And that puts us at exactly three Campy Lands per box. We had three in each of the first four boxes. Two in the fifth box. And then we got four in this box if I didn't lose track of something. Crashing Footfalls. Foil Bear Token. Two more packs. Can we hit a Miracle? Can we hit a Miracle? Season Pyromancer, another mythic. All right. Last pack. Last chance for glory. Oh, baby. Last pack that will probably possibly ever be open on this channel. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. We've got Bogardan, Dragonheart. Phantasmal Form. Frostwalla. Ransack the Lab. Rank Officer. Pondering Mage, Arkham's Astrolab, Labe, Labby, Lab, Spring Bloom Druid, Geomancer's Gambit, Irregular Cohort, Birthing Bows, Alpine Guide, Watcher for Tomorrow, Goblin. <laughs> of course, there's a goblin. 
Uh, I forgot the name, but we got to foil that one previously. All right, the rare Deep Forest Hermit. Is there a foil? No, there's not. All right. I guess I'll try to complain, but no foil mythics in this booster case. And it still kind of hurts. Still kind of hurts. But all boxes still overall felt pretty good. We still got two foil rares. We got seven rare foils in the case. But still would like to get a mythic foil because who doesn't want that? Uh, we got five mythics in that box. Five. Count them. One, two, three, four, five. And I gotta double check. I think we had, I think we had four Campy Lands in that box. Force of Negation we had as well. There's two. Dun 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 dun. Three. And I think, yep, four. So we got four plus we got Force of Negation. So that's five of the better rares of the set. Um, got multiple that are like three to nine dollars as well. So. Still, I wouldn't call it a bad box, but was really, really open for that foil mythic. But hey, it is what it is. Hope you all have enjoyed these six boxes of Modern Horizon open on the channel. I hope. I hope. Um, but please make sure you're subscribed. Rock smash the like button. Visit the game, capital.com, for every magic and other trading card game needs. Also, check us out on Twitter, or sorry, Twitch, at twitch.tv slash the game capital. And you can find us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and stuff as well, all as the game capital. That's up to you. Uh, but yeah, I thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time, whenever and wherever that may be.